Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is uh, the Crone, uh, the Ascension card, and uh, this is the card ruled by uh, Taurus. Um, and this is um, you know, like the Queen of Pentacles, really, and uh, this is about, um, you know, being, this is your card, really. Uh, so you have got your financial independence, you are in charge of everything, you're taking control of your life, uh, you know, um, you've got your security back again with you with this uh, card. And because it's ruled by Taurus, it looks like, you know, you're, uh, you know exactly what you want as well. You've got your ambitions, you're working towards your own goals right now. So a very, very self-made person and uh, very independent. You've got the success card coming in and that's uh, the Six of Earth. Um, and this is showing that money has been coming in, and this has given you that financial independence that you have been looking forward uh, to. So you are focusing a lot on your career at this particular moment, but it looks like you're attracting a lot of money, and you've got a good job as well. You know, um, you're really uh, getting that. Uh, as I said, you're getting your security back, uh, and you're making, uh, you know, making yourself um, into uh, the person that you want to be. You're following your ambitions. Now you've got the isolation card over here, and um, this is the three of swords, and um, uh, the uh, sign is uh, Saturn uh, in Libra. So getting back your balance, uh, but having gone through a lot of heartbreak, uh, and you're isolating yourself as well. Uh, maybe this um, past relationship has, uh, you know, made you very wary of everybody else. Uh, you don't, you can see this crow is looking at the other crows flying off in the distance. So it looks like you're keeping to yourself. Uh, you're not getting emotionally tied to anybody. Um, and you may have even cut off ties with the person, uh, you know, that you had that relationship with in the past. So you've severed them from your life. You've cut them out of your life. And you're spending a lot more time focusing on your work. Um and getting your balance back as well with that uh, sign of Libra. Now, in the past, you've got the Great Void card over here. And, uh, you know, this is uh, the Judgment card. So you've made a, a decision and you're moving off in a different direction. You may be pursuing something that you meant to finish off in the past, uh, but you're definitely, uh, you know, you've learned a lot of lessons and you're coming, you know, to the end of that karmic cycle as well. You've got the Child card over here. So starting something brand new. Uh, and, you know, you may have gone or faced a lot of legal um, battles. Um, you know, this looks like there may have been some kind of legal um, decision that was made as well but you can see a lot of freedom personal freedom coming in with that child card and uh, it's consciousness so you know you are getting your identity back as well so going into the future you've got the denial card over here and uh, you've got uh, the uh, sac uh, sacred fire card over here and um, you know this is the um, in this particular deck, it's ruled by um, Leo. And uh, with the Denial card of here, which is the Seven of Cups, um, having a lot of uh, ideas about what you want to do, but also thinking a lot about, you know, um, all the negative things that happened in your life over here. Uh, you know, maybe um, not wanting to take responsibility for some of the things that happened uh, and feeling, you know, uh, feeling very, very toxic about it. You've got a lot of sex um, on this boat these snakes are like, you know, uh, almost coming, uh, um, you know, almost coming to attack this woman, really. So maybe all these memories of the past that you have been having um, has been, um, you know, getting you down or it's been uh, hindering your progress forward. Um, you know, they, you've said with Seven of Cups is about toxic illusions. So, uh, you know, obsessing too much about things, not wanting to admit, uh, you know, that maybe that relationship is over or maybe not even wanting to admit that it was not a really good relationship. Uh, just looking at the positives of that relationship and forgetting about all the nasty things that happened uh, about it. Maybe this is coming to you, you know, while you're sleeping or uh, and you're also isolating yourself a lot. This is the thing that is preventing you from going forward. So, uh, you know, you have gone through a difficult situation. You are getting back your independence again. But don't allow all the uh, things that happened within that relationship to color 
um, the future relationships that might come in. By isolating yourself, you're not letting love come in. And, uh, you know, this is uh, preventing you from moving forward in any kind of relationship. Now, this cycle is coming to an end. It's coming to a close. You can see that it's a, it's a rather dark card. Uh, and so that's probably how you're feeling a little bit down, very isolated. Maybe you still feel like you're in the dark about a lot of things as well. Uh, but it is clouding your judgment a little bit. Um, and maybe it's giving you, uh, you know, you're having all these uh, ideas about what you want to do. And maybe they're not grounded in reality as well. So you need to get out of this energy. It's, it's uh, keeping you stuck and it's preventing you from finding further relationships or further happiness over here. It looks like, you know, with the sacred fire over here... Um, you're going to have to, um, you know, focus on yourself because it is the card ruled by Leo. Focus on the positives in life. Leo is a very, very positive sign. And, uh, you know, um, you're going to have to um, look for the good in things or you're going to have to look for, um, you know, uh, a new um, idea or you're going to have to look for a new uh, focus uh, and bring that light back into your life again. And focusing on yourself and, uh, you know, being positive about certain things. That denial card is about being very negative. It's about being so, um, you know, tied up and, and lost in that old emotion that you can't seem to move forward. And you need to start focusing on yourself, bringing in the light, getting your strength back. This is usually the strength card, uh, you know, in the deck. And it looks like, you know, you've got a lot of inner strength. You need to focus on that and um, bring that lion back out in in you uh, because it is the card ruled by Leo. So bring that strength back into you. And you'll be able to solve any problem anyway with that strength card. You can overcome these difficulties, uh, but you need to find that inner strength within you and bring out that positivity and, and uh, you know, get away from feeling negative and open the door to a relationship if that is what you want. At the moment, you seem to be quite focused on that career and isolating yourself. And, uh, you know, it's almost like you're looking with longing uh, at other people's relationships. Um, but there's a lot of clouds over there. Maybe you, you, you're you seeing things from a very pessimistic point of view and isolating yourself because of that. And this is because of all the toxicity that happened in that previous relationship. But you do need to end it. That cycle of moon is ending over there. You need to end that feeling, walk away from it, find that inner strength and bring the sun back out in your life again. So start being positive about things. So those are the energies of um, that particular two weeks. <coughs> I'm going to be using the uh, Jane Austen Tarot main read. I have put this deck in the description box. It's quite a rare deck, so it's a, a bit difficult to find because it is out of print. But, um, you know, you can if you'd like to uh, read with it. Okay, so you've got the Nine of Quills over here, and this is the Nine of Swords, really. Uh, and it is talking about having a lot of uh, problems sleeping. Uh, you're, you know, in a very high anxiety state. Uh, you can see this woman's very restless in her bed over there, but she's also alone. And, uh, you know, um, this is the card about having um, a, a lot of stress as well. Uh, and maybe it's because of all the things that have happened. So you're thinking about all the uh, negative things. Maybe you're thinking of all the battles that you went through uh, in that relationship, all the tower moments. And this is the thing that is preventing you from uh, relaxing. Uh, and it's keeping you in that state of anxiety with that nine of quills. So what's happening with you? You've got uh, that six of coins over here. And uh, you've got uh, that ace of cups coming so uh, it looks like, you know, you are getting support from somebody else with that six of coins. This is the card of generosity, giving and receiving. So there is somebody that you are getting some kind of, um, you know, good advice from um, that's helping you uh, go. You're also, you know, really focused on your career and your money, and that is coming in. But there is support as well for you. And uh, you could be, um, you know, it could be material support in the form of money um, coming in. So you might be relying on somebody for some kind of financial support uh, after having gone through this particular breakup. Uh, but also, this is um, somebody giving you advice about, you know, your security in life. Um, making you stable all over again. Uh, you know, whatever advice they're giving you, it's uh, grounding you 
with that six of coins. So they are there and they are helping you get over situations with um, six of coins. And it looks like there's something brand new coming in for you on the uh, emotional side. So there could be a new relationship coming in with this ace of teacups uh, and uh, something starting that's going to be, you know, the beginning of something really good because it's the beginning of um, the cups um, suit. So, you know, after the ace of cups comes the two of cups. So this is getting yourself emotionally in tune and this is stabilizing yourself, um, you know, getting in touch with yourself again, self-love, a need for to develop self-love. And maybe this is what this person is giving you. It's um, valuable advice with that six of coins. And uh, it's, uh, you know, showing you how to get your emotional independence back again. So this is the kind of advice you might be getting at the moment. So in the past, you've got the Lady of Candlesticks over here. So um, this is the Queen of Wands. Uh, and this is showing somebody who is taking control of their life, taking charge of their life. You might have even received some kind of letter or communication um, that's, um, you know, allowed you to get your personal power back. So the Lady of Candlesticks or the Queen of Wands is somebody who's very intuitive as well. And she does tend to follow her instincts quite a bit. But she's somebody you don't mess with. So this is where you are at now. So um, getting your independence back, but not allowing anybody to take advantage of you. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, finding uh, your power again, because the Lady of Candlesticks is quite a powerful leader, really. So you've got the Four of Candlesticks over here, and this is about getting stability back in your life again. So this is what's been happening with you. Uh, the Four of Candlesticks is maybe you've even bought a new home as well, but celebrating some kind of uh, news or some kind of event or even um, getting together with friends. So you've got that uh, four of wands over there, uh, you know, going out uh, with stable friends uh, and, uh, you know, um, establishing um, stability uh, in your life as well, because four is a number of stability. And there, now you've got the Lord of Candlesticks. So there could be somebody that you're very, very interested in here. Um, and this is the King um, king of Wands, really. So it could be a fire sign that you're dealing with, that you're attracted to. So it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy that you're dealing with. This person is, um, you know, quite dynamic. They're very good at public speaking. Uh, they could be somebody, um, you know, who's even a businessman. Or somebody that you're working with, some kind of new um, enterprise that you're working with, or something at somebody at work. It could be a boss or somebody superior to you, and uh, you know you you're very attracted to this particular person. They've also looked like they've been through the the, the battles because this is an admiral of sorts, um, you know, and uh, it looks like somebody who is very authoritative, and this is something that attracts you. They've got a lot of power in their hand. So going to the future, you've got the Six of Candlesticks. You've got a lot of fire um, uh, energy coming in through this particular reading. So it looks like, you know, you are uh, being motivated. You are not standing still and uh, expecting things to happen. You're being very proactive with that kind of energy. The Six of Candlesticks is about moving away from difficult situations. Here you can see this person's moving away. But also, you know... Um, uh, vi being victorious in uh, whatever it is you're doing. So you could have, uh, you know, um, you could be meeting this person uh, during your travels. Uh, so you could be doing some traveling over here with that six of candlesticks. Uh, but definitely things starting to move forward for you. And this particular person, and this could be the, the person we're talking about, the Lord of Candlesticks being, you know, displayed here, uh, is somebody that takes uh, charge, takes control. You see he's racing ahead over there. Uh, somebody who moves fast. So maybe this kind of energy coming in pretty fast to sweep you off your feet, really. Um, what's going on with you? You've still got the moon card over here. So you're still looking at that past relationship that you had. You can see that reflection of a relationship in the water over here. And this is the thing that is keeping you awake. All those memories of the past is keeping you anxious and keeping you awake. You may have insomnia over here, confusion, a little bit of depression, uh, and, you know, uh, thinking about the past too much and thinking about it in a negative sort of way. So um, this is the thing. You're crying about it still. You're still crying about that that has already, um, that relationship that was ended. Now you've got the Eight of Quills, what's go that's going on uh, around you. And this is about being stuck 
mentally within a situation, uh, you know, by the memories of whatever happened. So this is the Eight of Swords, uh, needing to make a decision to get out of that energy. Now, you do need to make that decision, no matter how uh, much it feels like it's painful to actually move on, you do need to get yourself unstuck from that particular energy. Uh, you know, and find the music in your life again, really. And it looks like there is somebody around that is going to come and help you. So it could be this this person here with the six of candlesticks. Uh, you know, uh, they admire you quite a bit for what it, whatever it is you're doing. And you need to see that. You need to, uh, you know, uh, develop uh, that sense of being able to appreciate that other people appreciate you as well. Um, so uh, there is an admiration for you and whatever it is you're doing. This particular person is going to get you out of that negative energy and get you out unstuck from that energy. So you do need to embrace that relationship if it comes your way. Now, what you want is you do want to start, uh, uh, you know, you want uh, to gain security. Uh, maybe you're looking for that new uh, relationship and you want it to be a financially secure relationship. You've got that ace of coins over here. And maybe it is somebody that you're working with, uh, with that ace of coins. So it could be that this person is somebody that you do work with. Uh, you Maybe you've traveled with this person as, you know, as a business, um, on business and, uh, um this is brought in that admiration. So um, you've got the Ten of Teacups over here, the Two of Teacups, and the Strength card. Now you can see with that Ten of Teacups, um, all that difficulty has now come to an end. That cycle is over. Whatever it was, it, if it was a marriage and it was a divorce or a separation from a very, very long-term relationship, it is now uh, finished. And you have to leave behind even the old friends that you used to have and leave behind that relationship completely and move forward. Things are starting to look up. You've got that rainbow coming in over here and security coming in for you over here. You've got those houses in the background. But, you know, it looks like, you know, you have to walk away from old, uh, the old situation. You've got to leave it behind. You've got to stop thinking of yourself as part of that old couple and maybe even leaving behind old friends and moving on. It is the end of a cycle uh, and it's a beginning of a new emotional cycle for you. Now you've got the ten of cup, teacups over here and you've got that ace of teacups, uh, you know, in the main read, uh, in the main energy over here. So this is, you know, leave behind the past and start something brand new. And that's the only way you're going to open the door for something to come into your life. Because immediately, as, as soon as you... you you turn your back <coughs> on the past, it looks like this new relationship opens up for you. And you've got that two of teacups over here. And this pers particular person that you're about to meet uh, or that you admire or that you want to start a relationship with is um, some uh, soulmate. It's a soulmate connection. This person, you click completely on an emotional level. Um, and it, it looks like it's going to turn out into something really, really good. So you do need to put an end to all those negative thoughts and thinking about the past and start moving forward. You've got the strength card over here. So make sure, you know, you um, come across as saying exactly what you mean. So you can see this woman's got a hand over this man's mouth over here. So, uh, you know, not listening to what other people have got to say. You've got to say what you need to say and take a stand for what you believe in. And make it very, very clear about what your intentions are and what you want out of this relationship uh, and don't be controlled by anybody so that's very important for you to exert your independence and also show people exactly what you're thinking be very very upfront about what you want now this person and you could you know you can be traveling together this person obviously is sending you a lot of messages so there's a lot of communication uh, with this person and maybe you'll think on the same level as well and keep your wits about you. You can see this woman's got a hat on. So make your, sure that you're thinking very, very clearly. You know, in this situation, I always say have a strategy, have a plan. Because, uh, you know, even though uh, people think that they should get into relationships and, uh, you know, just wing it as they go, it's very important for you to have a goal and have uh, something to work towards, uh, which will always make the relationship very exciting or interesting. And, and you know, it won't get a run of the mill and mundane. But this new relationship is definitely coming in for you as soon as you've closed the door on the old relationship so start thinking in a positive way uh, you know finish off with that old life and start moving forward and that's going to open the door for a new relationship to come in and it's going to move pretty quickly you've got that uh, man galloping into the uh, into the future over there and you can see that you know that relationship is going to move pretty quickly so um, I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Archangel Power Tower and that's for the uh, Oracle read
So you got the Nine of Michael, and this is the Nine of Swords, and this is how uh, the read started off with the Nine of Quills, the Nine of Swords. Uh, your worries are necessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire and release the feelings of regret, guilt, and worry to your angels. So there you go. Uh, you do need to let go of all those feelings. You need to get rid of all those thoughts and move forward because it's keeping you up at night. It's making you anxious. Uh, it's stressing you out. So you do need to put an end to it. Now you've got the Queen of Ma um, Raphael over here. So it says, follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. So this is the Queen of Water, and um, or the Queen of Cups rather, um, and you know you are you are psychic. You do understand what is going on, and you can see, uh, you know, things coming your way. So you do need to, um, you know, um, think about your emotional uh, fulfillment. And as it says, follow your heart. There's something brand new beginning over here. So there's that relationship coming in. There's probably an offer coming in uh, with this card, with this Queen of Raphael. And you'll have to make a decision. So release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox, unnecessary worry based on the lack of self-confidence. So it looks like, you know, both these cards, the Nine of Michael, the Decision card, as well as this, um, you know, Nine of Quills says you're worrying a lot, you're anxious, you're stressed out. You need to le let that go and you need to uh, break away from that past. So let go of any kind of past, uh, you know, memories that you had that's keeping you up at night, that's confusing you, that's depressing you, and you need to move forward. And, uh, you know, you need to... Um, that is the thing that is holding you back. Uh, and, you know, maybe you are worried that you won't find somebody, but it looks like, you know, you're still too stuck in that past. And once you close the door on the past and the people from the past uh, that you dealt with, it looks like that new relationship comes in and it's going to be something really good for you. You've got that strength card over there, so it looks like, you know, you need to um, have more confidence, have more self-confidence and, uh, you know, believe that you can achieve anything, really. And if that's what you want, a good relationship, then that is something that you will be able to attract to yourself. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.